I am a full blood American Indian and a citizen of the Choctaw Nation from Oklahoma. My husband, who is present, Larry, is also a full blood American Indian and citizen of the Seminole Tribe Nation of Oklahoma. I use the word full blood because I am. I'm not a mixture of any other tribe or nationality. In Dallas, that becomes a rarity. And you see my skin. When we talk about reflection of Holocaust and genocide, American Indians went through the Holocaust and genocide in the United States. But many people don't even know that. And so I want just to remind you of that, and I did speak about that last year. But this year I'm going to talk about stereotyping and its effect on American Indians and also on society. And I just wanted to share with you, because of my skin, Many people are very surprised when they find out that there's American Indians living in Dallas, especially full bloods, because when they see me, first thing they think we're Hispanic, and that's it. But Dallas has a lot of Indians. There are 565 federally recognized tribes or nation in the United States, in the United States, which are recognized by the Bureau of Indian Affairs of the Department of Interior. There are 56 state-recognized tribes in uh, 12 different states in the United States. Texas has one of those state-recognized tribes. Do you know that? Just recently, I think within the past year, the Lapan Apache has been given the recognition of being a state-recognized tribe. Do you know that there's three Indian reservations in the state of Texas? Well, there's three. And hopefully you realize that Dallas, Fort Worth area, has at least 115 different tribal representatives living here. Of course, that means from descendancy, ancestry blood, down to a full blood. We come in many colors, and we have many cultures, different traditions and heritage. And uh, the Stereotyping effect on American Indian. The use of American Indian mascot as symbols in schools and university athletic programs is particularly troubling because school is a place of learning. Three, these mascots are teaching stereotypical, misleading, and too often insulting images of American Indians. These negative Lessons are not just affecting American Indian students, they are sending the wrong messages to all students, says the American Psychological Association. I want to be, uh, to be sure to mention that the Dallas Independent School District, probably about 10 years ago, very quietly, very peacefully, eliminated 10 American Indian uh, mascots, logos, at 10 different schools. And at that time, right people were in place. The time was right for it to happen. And you don't hear about that very much. You hear about more of the other universities, other schools throughout the United States going through lawsuits, having a lot of troubling issues to face before any decision is made. But Dallas did it very quietly and very peacefully. In 2005, the American Psychological Association called for the immediate retirement of all American Indian mascots, symbols, images, and personalities by uh, school, colleges, university, athletic teams, and organizations. The association position is based on a growing body of social science literature that shows the harmful effect of racial stereotyping and inaccurate racial portrayal, including the particularly harmful effect of American Indian sports mascots on the social identity development and self-esteem of American Indian young people. And we do have American Indian students in the Dallas Independent School District. There's a TV that one time that did a little a small um, synopsis of an Indian boy. He was in the fifth grade. And his question to the young boy was, how does your classmate treat you when they find out you're American Indian? He said, they call me ugly. This is what we're talking about. Stereotype it in respect to American Indian. 
Unfortunately, that young boy stayed in school until he got to the eighth grade and then dropped out. But his self-esteem was already affected even before that question was asked. But after that question was asked, imagine his self-esteem and his family. Research has shown that the continued use of American Indian mascot symbols, images, and personality has a negative effect of not only American Indian students, but all students by undermining the educational experiences of members of all communities, especially those who have had little or no contact with indigenous people. My question to you is how many American Indians do you know? Hopefully you could count on two hands. How many have you seen? Hopefully you can count on two hands. But I dare to say, you might say, I don't know of anybody except today you have myself and Larry present here. And uh, it also established an unwelcome and oftentimes hostile learning environment for American Indian students that affirms negative images, stereotypes that are promoted in mainstream society. How do you think Indian people feel when you have the Tommy Hawk chop at football games, when you have pep rallies saying beat the Indians if the opponent's Indians? Just imagine, you don't have to live in my shoes. But when it comes to affect you, your ethnicity, your family, it gets very meaningful. And so many times people don't understand why Indians are very offensive about mascots. The main way is Washington Redskin at the professional level. We know that will never go away because the Indians, too small in numbers, have too little of influence politically, financially, whatever politically. Uh, there's been lawsuits, but we can't hurt a word hurts. It's in the money, in the advertisement. So unfortunately, uh, there's a negative connotation when you hear the word Redskin. If you don't know it, look it up. According to Dr. Stephanie Freibred, University of Arizona, this appears to have a negative impact on the self-esteem of American Indian children. American Indian mascots are harmful, not only because they are often negative, because, but because they remind American Indians of the limited ways in which other people see them. This, in turn, restricts the number of ways American Indians can see themselves. It undermines the ability of American Indian nations to portray accurate and respectful images of their culture, spirituality, and tradition. It also presents stereotypical images of American Indian. Such mascots are a contemporary example of prejudice by the dominant culture against racial and ethnic minority groups and it is a form of discrimination against American Indian nations that can lead to negative relationships between groups. We know th from the uh, literature that oppression, covert and overt racism, and perceived racism can have serious negative consequences for the mental health of American Indians and Alaskan Native people. If you know a little bit about American Indian uh, problems, you're going to see in reservations, there's many, many problems. This should answer some of that problem, mental health problems that came from the genocide and holocaust of the federal government when everybody started coming into our indigenous land. The, the discontinued use of American Indian mascot is a, is a gesture to show that the kind of racism towards and the disrespect of all people in our country and in the larger global context will not be tolerated, says Dr. Lisa Thompson of the American Psychological Association. To eradicate the hurtful presence of stereotypical images of American Indians, the association encourages continuing research on the psychological effect that these mascots, symbols, images, and personalities on the American Indian community and others. And the association is calling upon all psycho psychologists to work to speak out against racism and take proactive steps to prevent the occurrence of intolerant or racial acts and recommend the immediate retirement of American Indian mascot symbolism, images, and personality 
also the National NCAIA, I think the National Co uh, College Athletic Association also has made this into a mandated order that any time a college that is at a particular championship level will not play against a school that has the Indian uh, mascot. The American Indian history has been too often marred by broken promises and grave injustice against the first American, President Obama says. While he acknowledged that no words can undo the damage, he said his administration aims to names for action to match those words. Native Americans have been faced with a choice, he says, abandon their heritage or accept a lesser lot in life. We know this is a false choice. To accept it is to believe that we can't and won't do better. And I won't accept that, says President Obama. The least we can do in the process of healing is to acknowledge everyone's pain in one voice. We have begun the process of coming together as one people to stand with you. We are indeed one world and a single humanity in caring for each other. Bring safety and peace to all of us. I cannot be safe if the people around me are not, and I will not have peace if people around me don't. This is my, it is my interest to speak, to seek a peaceful world for one and all, says Mike Gass. Thank you.